Hey, welcome back to Swan Branch, everyone. I thought I'd just give you a, a quick tour of our garden, show you how it's progressed since we did some initial planting back on Memorial Day. So let me show you. First thing I had to do is go over here to the corner and turn the energizer off for the electric netting. You can see our containers in here. We've got them all filled up and I'll show you what those are. I just got to reach down here and turn the energizer off. And now I can walk over here and open the netting and get inside. We've got uh, chives planted in here, but it's amazing some of the... Uh, soil that we use to fill this container up we've got some i think these are butternut squash which i'm going to go ahead and pull up most of them and then we've also got tomatoes coming up all over so but i'm gonna have to pull a lot of those up we've got four cucumber plants that are really just hanging on they weren't we got them on clearance at a local store and we're just trying to nurse them back to health uh, we've actually got some new growth right in here and we do have some flowers on here too so we'll see if we can continue to nurse them and and bring them along then we got some green onions here we've been pulling some of these to eat in salads and it's been really nice we got some radishes just it'll always give you satisfaction because i think these were only planted probably three weeks ago and then we've got various kinds of peppers, starting with one of these. Uh, I'm not even what, remember what they're called. I'll have to show you later after we harvest. But the pepper only gets a little bit bigger than that. And then we've got some green peppers. And then as you go around this way, they get hotter all the way till you get over to the cayenne peppers. And we've got a few uh, forming on here. Let me see if I can find one real quick. I don't see any real quick. I know there's three or four. Yeah, right in here's one. You need to move up to here. Here's some banana peppers. Some of them are looking pretty big already. And then we've got various kinds of tomatoes. We probably had too many tomatoes planted. But that's the way we roll. We've got three and or four in some of these containers. And the next thing we got to do is build some kind of trellising system. And that's going to be a project that I'll show you in another video. We're going to try to tackle some of that today. But it's uh, something I've been working on for a couple weeks in my mind. And we'll see if we can end up building it and making it work. And then this bed, this raised bed, we haven't really planted much in it yet. We got a couple of squash plants here that are not doing very well. These were planted about a week earlier. These are all crookneck squash, yellow squash, and they're actually coming around pretty quickly. And at the end here, we have garlic that we planted in the fall. We will be harvesting those today also. So we'll just make a short little video about that and show you what we got. It's pretty cool to see a couple scapes at the top of these. We may harvest those and see if we can eat those also. Anyway, that's all for the garden tour right now that we've got planted we do have a few volunteer potato plants coming back from last year we'll uh, probably end up getting some small potatoes out of those but i think we're going to have to dig them up and plant something here and not let them all grow all the way out but we'll see if we can get some new potatoes in there and we'll show you what we get when we dig those up so anyway that's our garden so far for this year we um I have big hopes for what we've got left but sometimes it's just hard to get everything done that you want to get done so hit that thumbs up on the way out subscribe to the channel and we'll see you next time here at swan branch